Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making pumpkin pizza bites. And when I say pumpkin, I don't mean literal pumpkin because I think that'd be a little gross. Um, but pretty much I'm using this pan here. Let me flip it so you can see the pumpkin shape. Um, I won't turn it over the other way because I already oiled up the pan so that pizza bites don't stick. But yeah, I got this idea because I kept seeing like on TikTok these little skull pizza bites and I did look, you know, at a few places for like the little skull pan and uh, I didn't really like any of them but I managed to find this one um, in our garage with all our million cake pans. So I thought I should just try and use this and we'll see how they turn out. So yeah, I have all of the stuff that I'm going to put in my pizza bites here. I have my sauce, uh, my cheese, my pepperoni, the fresh mozzarella, and then I'm going to put black olives because I like to eat black olives. So over here I have my dough. I already have it kind of pre-cut out evenly in different sizes, and this is homemade dough, but of course you can always buy pre-made at the store, but I thought homemade would be a lot better. So first I'm going to lay it in here my pan and I'm gonna press it down like as much as I can without you know thinning out the dough too much but I'm gonna try my best to get the design to actually come out so that way it'll look like a pumpkin and then I will do this one first so I'm gonna take my sauce and I'm just gonna spoon a little bit in the middle like this and now I'm just gonna spread it out I got a plastic spoon just to be careful that I don't rip the um, thing, rip the dough, <laughs> okay, put that in there, now I'm going to add in some cheese, this is just some shredded cheese, and then I'll save room for mozzarella, um, but then I'll put the pepperoni on top, there we go, cheese. There's a lot of mozzarella, but I love some fresh mozzarella, so there we go. And maybe the pumpkins will be better because I feel like there's a lot more room in here. Like, they're a lot bigger than what the skulls look like because it's this one's more like circular. And lastly, I'm going to put some olives in here. And then I can fold over my dough on the top. And I feel like most likely I'll have some extra left. But I'm just going to fold this over. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm going to smush it. But be careful. Making sure everything is pretty sealed nicely because I don't want them to like explode. Then I'm just going to take some more olive oil and I'm going to put it on the dough and it'll make it nice and golden. And so yeah, pretty much I'm just going to do the same thing for the rest of them. I'll probably do three with olives and then three without just because I like olives in mine, but I know some other people in my family might not want the olives, so yeah. Right now I'm making the last one. This one I kind of ripped a little bit over here, so. But the other ones look good, so hopefully they don't like explode. And I'm still really trying to push down because I really want these, you know, to turn out. And for the skull shape, or not the skull, the pumpkin shape to be on there. 
But yeah, hopefully because it's like a metal pan, because most people use metal pans with their skulls, maybe that'll help keep the shape. I don't know, we'll see how it turns out. But yeah, all of them I've been kind of doing differently. So like some of them, I'll put like sauce, uh, then I'll put cheese, and then I'll put like maybe more sauce. Maybe some of them will have more cheese. Some of them, I didn't put olives in them. Yeah, this other one that is probably going to explode has a bunch of cheese in it. But yeah, I'll be more careful with this one. The rest of that in there. What if you rip a corner and cover that hole? Oh yeah, if I have extra left. Mm -hmm. But yeah, because when I was doing this one, I just, I felt like, I was like, huh, it looks a little more empty compared to the other one, so I was adding more stuff, and then I was like, oops, I think I added too much. So yeah, this one, I'll just put some flat pieces of mozzarella. Put another piece up right there. Fold this over. See if that will work. <laughs> Cause on this side it's a little messed up too. But I don't want this one to rip either. I also think maybe I've pressed down pressed down too much. Maybe I can fix this part. But yeah, be a bit more careful. Because after I'm pressing them down a little bit to again try and keep the shape. And then I'm going to put these in the oven at 450 and I'm going to check in on them at about 10 minutes. So here they are out of the oven and I actually ended up baking them for like uh, like 18 minutes-ish I want to say. Um, but yeah, I just watched out like on the bottom seeing how golden they were. And you can see the design showed up a little bit on some of them. It's not like super indented, but I think they turned out pretty cute. <laughs> of course, this is the one that exploded. It actually got really stuck in the pan because the cheese on the side it was like all burnt. But yeah, so now I'm going to break one open. They're pretty cool enough now, so we'll see. There I go. Not like a super cheesy melt there, but... but yeah, it tastes really good. I mean, it's just like a little pizza bike type of um, calzone little thingy, but yeah, I think it tastes really good. And I even saw like other TikTok where my mom put them like in a little lunch box for her kid. And honestly, if you like cold pizza, that's like pretty smart thing to do is put it like in your lunch or something but yeah these are really cute and even though you know you can't totally see the little pumpkin shape on some of them um I mean you eat them anyway and they're cute enough and then yeah they were really easy to make and of course like I said before you can just use like pre-made stuff like the dough and it didn't really take that long to bake at all so if you guys enjoyed today's video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content